Deborah Schwartzkopf, and I'm a potter. Some of the people I admire the most are potters, and I wanted to take on their um, lifestyle and adopt their priorities and be part of their community. In my studio practice, I often set aside time just to explore and not worry about if I have a, a piece to put in the kiln. Um, often this happens if I make too many of one shape and I don't have enough energy to finish it to the level I want to, then I can use those parts and pieces to just see what I can combine together. When I teach workshops, I often use that as a time to explore also. Um, just watching other people explore helps me want to be in that vein. And so if there's a moment to just try something different, I will. And when I'm teaching, I think it's important too to fail because really watching failure can teach more than watching success. So trying something new shows how I can um, work through a difficulty instead of just nailing it. The compromise for me of being a potter is that I've adopted a life full of risk and that this lifestyle requires a lot of energy to sustain. Um, in order to adapt to a material that can crack or a kiln that can fail or a fluctuating income um, just requires a lot of resilience. Uh, the most difficult thing I do in my studio is pause and decide to take a break. I really love working, but I also am learning more and more that I need to feed myself by resting and um, taking time in the garden and taking time with friends and family and just to have a moment to reflect and notice the progress and that that gives me a huge amount of excitement. Uh, the most important tool for me is mental stamina. And I feel like this is something that waxes and wanes with my studio practice. And um, I'm really interested in will as a tool. And it, maybe it sounds negative, but I think um, discipline is positive. And I find a lot of satisfaction in seeing myself decide to do something and follow through. And I think follow through is one of the biggest tools you can have as a potter.